Hey everybody, welcome back to our weekly live stream for our Mighty Steps virtual walk again. I am Bob McMahon, and if I take these banners off, boop, boop, I am your bib wearing MC for the Utah Down Syndrome Foundation Mighty Steps virtual walk. This is week number three, as you saw on that banner right there, all right? And um, those who signed up early should have received their bids this week. Um, and we have 345 people walking, 31 of whom are individuals with Down syndrome. If you have not registered for the walk yet, please text MIGHTY to 71777. Again, that is mighty to 71777. Or by going to udsf.org and looking for Mighty Steps. All right. We hope that uh, everyone enjoys learning about our beautiful state of Utah as we walk. If you feel like you are far behind in the walk, please don't worry. Just get more of your friends and family to join your team. Remember, in an earlier video, I told, uh, I told everyone before to invite complete strangers to join our teams. Truly every person can help us spread our message of hope, health, and happiness. Our goal is to have each individual with Down syndrome walk across Utah by August 21st. If you have registered for the walk, please make sure to have uh, also have uh, set up your walker tracker account to help count your steps. And if you are having any problems or if you have any questions, please contact programs at udsf.org. Again, programs at udsf.org. Um, if you need any help getting your accounts set up. So UDSF is not only taking mighty steps this year to increase hope, health, and happiness, but this walk is UDSF's main source of revenue. Like 70% of nonprofits in Utah, UDSF has seen a sharp decrease in revenue due to COVID-19. Therefore, it's up to us to help reach our goal of $40,000. Thank you to all of our walkers, donors, and sponsors. To date, we have raised $11,390.80. Let's keep growing that number so we can reach our goal. And the Utah Down Syndrome Foundation is very appreciative of our sponsors who partner with UDSF to serve individuals with Down Syndrome and their families. Today, we will be sharing a short video of Gosner Foods. Short video of Gosner Foods. So let's take a look as I share my screen. <laughs> And ta-da, here we go, Gosner Foods. In 1930, Edwin Gosner immigrated to the U.S. from Switzerland, bringing the old artisan cheesemaker ways along with him. We have continued to look after those old world ways of making the finest Swiss cheese and dairy products in the world. Now in its fifth generation, Gosner Foods takes pride in providing new opportunities, smiles, and memories to families just like yours. Gosner Foods. Nature provided, we perfected. And there we go. Getting back. Ah, here we are. So thank you to Gosner Foods. If you are viewers, have any questions, please go to their website uh, at gosner.com. You can go to their website at gosner.com. Uh, now, a, uh, a quick note, um, you can watch them cut the cheese without smelling any of the after effects. Good to know. In all seriousness, Gosner Foods is amazing. These are my words and my words alone. Gosner Foods is amazing. And it is the only place, now I'm serious about this, it is the only place where I purchase cheese and boxed milk. Um, and when a sentiment like that comes from a lactose intolerant individual like myself, 
you know it means a lot. So thank you again, Gosner Foods. Our stopping points this week are Canyonlands National Park and Arches National Park. Before we head off to see these beautiful parks, did you know that you can get your family member with Down syndrome into these parks for free? Hmm. The National Park Service has what's called an access pass for individuals with disabilities. And I would like to show you where you can find more information on how to acquire an access pass. So let me share my screen yet again. And all right, there we go. Screen, you can see it. Uh, let me go to the Google. All right, so once we're here in Google, we type in yudbsf.org. All right, we wait for the page to load. Once we are on udsf.org, it's loading, it's loading. All right, we can start scrolling, and, and you might see it in one of two ways. I've seen it in two ways earlier the, this morning. Uh, the website is constantly being updated. Um, if you have access to the newest version of the website, you might see a, um, a, a menu like these three lines, and you'd click that. What you see on my screen currently is an older version of the website. So we just scroll down, we find the word programs, and we hover over the word programs. After hovering over the word programs, we come down here to resources. Click on the word resources, and that will take us to our resources. Ha ha, there they are. Once we're in the resources, scroll down. Keep scrolling. We find recreation opportunities. Under recreation opportunities, we see National Parks Access Pass. Click on that, and it opens up a new tab um, that takes you to the National Park Service website. Scroll down and you see these options of annual pass, uh, fourth grade pass, senior pass. Click on the words access pass and it takes you right to the information on an access pass. The cost is free. It is available to you know all these people. So um, I will let you go and learn the rest of that. But as I shop, as I stop sharing my screen, I would just like to share with you, boom, this is our access pass for, for my daughter, Haley. And um, I have to say, we love it. Uh, it allows our entire vehicle into the national parks, many national monuments and more for free. We use it yearly, all right? So, Good thing to know. And now it's trivia time. See, I even have a banner for it. Trivia time. All right. So today you all get to show off your knowledge of Arches National Park to earn a chance to win a pair of crazy socks designed by an artist spreading awareness of and who has Down syndrome. To participate, all you need to do is put your answers in the comments section as the questions are asked. Yesterday, um, I chose two numbers, right? So they're, they're already chosen. They're right here in my head, all right? Um, the commenters with correct responses matching those two numbers that are already decided, um, they're going to win, all right? But you have to have a correct response, and you have to be, you know, that numbered responder. Uh, so make sure to comment your answers. Let's go play some trivia. I will share my screen here. And this time, we're going to the application window. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Arches National Park Trivia Game. Um, I actually have this live stream open in both YouTube and Facebook so that I can watch the comments there since I cannot see them on my screen. So hopefully I don't go too fast. Question number one. 
How many sandstone arches are there in the park? 700? 1,400? Or 2,000? Comment away. Come on. Let's comment them. What is it? How many? How many? Are there any commenters? Let's see. There's YouTube. Oh. Looks like I can see YouTube here. Having some technical difficulties with uh, Facebook. Well, I'm going to go on good faith. Whoever said. Oh, oh there it is. 2,000 would be correct. Now, going on to the next one, because we have multiple questions. So, let's go on to the next one. And remember, I'm going to look at the correct responses later. So, I'm going to take it on good faith. All right. In what geographically significant location does Arches National Park reside? Is it the New Mexico Divide, the Colorado Plateau, or the Utah Plains? Which one is it? New Mexico Divide, Colorado Plateau, or Utah Plains? For whoever said Colorado Plateau, that is the correct answer. Now, next question. When was the park established or in what year was the park established? Was it 1953? Was it 1961? Or was it 1971? Comment your answer. Good luck. Facebook, I can look at those three times there. Have you asked the next question after Colorado Plateau? Mm hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Which one was it? Nisha Bass says 1971. Oh, and if you said. 1971, that was correct. All right. And next question, what time of the year is the park open? Is it open April to October? October to April or all year round? Which one is it? April to October? October to April or all year round? I'll look to see who is answering. And if it's correct. Sure. 
And whoever said all year round, that would be the correct answer. Now, I had a programming note that said, hurry it up, Bob. And so I shall. But keep those comments coming in super fast. Type the answer super fast. And remember, after we get out of this, I'm going to go and I'm going to take the correct commenters and you're going to win the prize anyway. All right. So let's go. What is the best known arch? Is it delicate arch, south window arch, or double arch? And I hope you said that it was delicate arch. Ah, you saw that I gave only 10 seconds to answer the question. So that's what we're going to keep it at, all right? Let's keep it going. Now, how tall is delicate arch? Is it 85 feet tall, 75 feet tall, or 65 feet tall? 10 seconds. And if you said that it was 65 feet, you would have been correct. Now, what? why was the famous trail Park Avenue given that name? Is it because the rich vegetation had created a national park or natural park? A series of rock formations resembled, resembles parked cars or slabs of sandstone look like si skyscrapers. Just type in a one-word answer, answer, whether that's vegetation, um, cars, skyscrapers. One-word answer. I'll give you 10 seconds. Hopefully, you said slabs of sandstone look like skyscrapers. Next question. In which classic movie did Double Arch feature? Was it in High Noon, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, or Blazing Saddles? 10 seconds. And let's see our answer. Hopefully you said Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It looks like I'm going to have to watch that movie again so I can pay attention to find Double Arch. All right. Which arch made an appearance in the comedy City Slickers? Was it North Window, Balanced Rock, or Delicate Arch? Ten seconds. And it was North Window. Again, something that I didn't know until doing this trivia. And our last question, because I'm going to go and I'm going to speed this thing along. Which arch appears to defy the laws of engineering? Is it balanced rock, landscape arch, or delicate arch? Ten seconds. Our answer was landscape arch. All right, um, I'm just going to go through uh, the rest of this so we get to go. The thickest, uh, how, the, the narrowest part of landscape arch, it happens to be six feet. Um, people have inhabited the region for a long time because we've seen rock engravings with uh, horseback riders and, and other petroglyphs. All right. Uh, the arches were formed by erosion. All right. So I have to go and I have to say that. Uh, thank you uh, to How Stuff Works um, for the trivia questions today. All right. I'm going to stop sharing here and come back here to the live stream. So um, I'm going to show you a couple videos. 
I see a bunch of comments that I can I can finally see the comments, all right? Because when I'm sharing the screen, I can't see the comments. But now that I can see the comments, um, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna pick out our, our winners. Um, so thank you to everyone who played with us. We will announce the winners in a moment. First, let's see the beauty and excitement of Canyonlands um, and arches in uh, national parks and what they have to offer us. We're going to take a little tour through both of them to see how wonderful they are. And as we tour, I'm going to find the second and the 23rd correct responses or responses with the correct answers. All right. So I'm going to play these videos. As I play these videos, um, I'm going to also go and look at the comments if I'm able to share my screen and look at the comments. I Either way we go, I'm going to make this work. All right. So here's our video. Ah, here it is. Terra incognita, the land in between, a forgotten labyrinth where two rivers meet. Towering monoliths ignite the imagination, and canyons form mazes, revealing millions of years of geology. For thousands of years, people have called these sacred canyons home. This land of harsh winters, searing summers, and inhospitable terrain hides thriving microclimates rich with biodiversity, sanctuaries for wildlife. Dark skies illuminate to express time and reflect on self. It is a place in this ever-connected world where one can feel self-reliance and find piercing solitude. A wilderness of stone extends in scenic views so full of texture and hues that the mind struggles to comprehend them. A testament to the processes of time and elements where the forces of nature are unrestrained. With knowledge, thoughtfulness, and intention, you can engage with this land, confident that your actions are helping to preserve terra incognita. Canyon Lands National Park. Now let's take a look at Arches National Park. This is a park for your imagination. No matter what age you are, you've got giant landscapes of distant mountain ranges and freaky weird rock formations of all shapes and colors. Most of our trails are under two miles round trip. So if you want to take your family out for a short hike, you really can get out in the park and see quite a lot of features that are within range of even short little legs. Arches does have designated trails. We also have a lot of bare rock, which is okay for kids to explore on. you get out of the car and you can see arches in almost every single direction. This is a place that's known for over 2,000 documented naturally carved stone arches. Some call it a, a sculpture park, but it's a sculpted by nature.
slow down. <laughs> Give yourself just a little bit of time in your itinerary to actually play with your kids. Not be so focused on seeing this, doing that, posing for that, but let them figure out a place where they want to play and explore because that's what's going to make them fall in love with this part. Aha! Huzzah! Those are some amazing parks, I must say. Um, if you and your family are in the area or have a, have a day for a quick trip, um, check out the hiking trails in Canyonlands and Arches National Parks. Now, I, uh, I couldn't see the comments, but I do have some answers, um, but I'm going to need some help from uh, you guys. All right. So uh, now the person with the second correct answer. All right. The person with the second correct answer. Um, I'm actually going to need you to go and comment your full name uh, because with the answer of 2000, meaning over 2000 uh, natural arches d allen hey d allen can we know what your first name is so uh, we know who to who to send this to thanks so much please comment your full name d allen on uh on the comments and and i'll, I'll be able to see them all right um so that's one of our trivia winners the 23rd person now uh when we do this trivia in however many weeks again all right um, here's what, here's what I'll do. I'm just going to choose random numbers, right? So you never know who, who's, who it's going to be, but our second winner is with the answer all year round when, when the parks are open all year round was Cheryl Sorensen. All right. So we are going to make sure to mail your prizes out soon. Once I find out who D Allen is. All right, let's see. Dixie Allen. All right, make make a note of that. We're all making note of that. Dixie Allen. Okay, excellent. Thanks so much, Dixie. And congratulations to Dixie and Cheryl. Now, let's find out our challenge winners. You can see right over here behind me that I have our, our challenge winners. So our walking challenge this week was to post on Facebook and or Instagram detailing how you are getting out and active for the Mighty Steps virtual walk using hashtag Mighty Steps. And the winner will receive a 25 uh, gift card, $25 gift card to Amazon. So let's see, I need our walking challenge. So these are the people, there aren't, there aren't enough people. I'll tell you that right now. There's not enough people in here, all right? But these are the people. Here's my eyeballs. And our uh, walking challenge, which was a social media posting challenge winner, is... Ah, there we go. Alice Haydeen from Beth's Burrito Patrol. So congratulations on that $25 gift card from Amazon Alice. Um, and our fundraising challenge for this week was for every team to raise $300 between Monday through Friday of this week. Each team member on the teams who qualified have had their names entered once in this jar right here, all right, um, to win a pair of Zag Airtime Pro Truly Wireless Earbuds. They're pretty cool looking, by the way. Um, the teams who uh, that qualified this week were Marie's Mob of Mentors, who raised $447.65. Yay! And our little Constella Asian, um, who raised one thousand three hundred thirty-four dollars and eighty-four cents. That's how you do it. 
All right. And from these teams, congratulations to... Oh, yeah. Eyeballs. It's... Amber Anderson from our little constellation. All right. Congratulations um, for winning uh, the Zag Wireless Earbuds Amber. Um, and congratulations to all of our winners. Your prizes will be mailed to you. Now, for some last reminders, uh, let me get back to the banner screen over here. Mm -mm -mm. As always, as always. Oh, and, and I should show this, all right? Because they were the ones who, you know, did the fundraising challenge. So shout out to both of those teams, all right? Now, again, for our last minute reminders, check out UDSF.org for the most up-to-date information about UDSF, UDSF activities, programs, and information. Um, uh, programming note. As people sign up uh, new teammates or register new teams, um, y'all should receive your walking bibs, right? Like this, where it says I'm number one, all right? Um, y'all should receive your walking bibs in the mail sometime, all right? They, they just get processed as, uh, as people register, okay? Um, so make sure to continue post pictures of how you and your team are uh, are walking across Utah. And please use the hashtag that you see scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Um, post Instagram, Facebook, all social media. Just use the hashtag UDSF Mighty. Hashtag UDSF Mighty. All right. Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. Let's, let's blow the place up, all right, with hashtags. And our next live stream is next Saturday, June 27th at 10 a.m. Again, I am Bob. Uh, I apologize for the technical difficulties this week. Yep, it happens. Um, and I hope that we can all be healthy and happy as we get outside, explore Utah, stay hydrated, and keep walking. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and 